Hiya, uh, so in this video we're going to talk about Cartesian coordinates. So just to kind of recap of what we did in the last video, um, we looked at um, Euclidean space and we said, well, we don't just want vectors, we want points. And so we added all these points and we said these points have to satisfy these things. And then we were like, whoa, this is way so abstract. Um, and so we were like, okay, well, well, how do we make this not as abstract? How do we like solidify this so we know kind of what we're working with? And then we saw like, oh shit, there's not even the idea of a zero. Like what the hell? Like what's a zero in this space? Um, and so what we did is we said, okay, we'll define some coordinate system. Um, and I gave this like little cutesy example and we said, this is kind of the idea. Um, so let's actually look at um, an example in like fuller details to kind of see where this is coming from. Um, and this is what we'll normally see as Cartesian coordinates um, coming from Descartes um, in France, um, who's like really genius and stuff. Um, actually, Descartes is one of the first people, I think he's the first, so the you know how like we always use the variable X to stand for something we don't know about? Descartes was the person who did it. So like, yeah, he's crazy. Um, so you can blame him if you ever have if you don't like the value X. Uh, anyway, side point. Um, so if we pick some arbitrary point, what we're gonna do is we pick some point as the origin. So I don't, we don't really care which one it is. We say, uh, you know, it doesn't matter. Just pick a point, pick some arbitrary point zero. And we're gonna say, this is kind of the origin. All right. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna say the Cartesian coordinate system, all this is, it's going to assign every n tuple of real numbers. So the n tuple, remember, this is what we have to assign to a point. This is precisely going to be zero, the zero we have from here, plus the vector v, um, which is precisely given by um, this v. In essence, you can consider this as our v. So in other words, what we have is zero plus x. 1 um, e1 plus x2 e uh, no not 2 n n n e n so what we basically have is these components um oh i should not underline these components are precisely the things coming from the point and here we remember we always have to have this zero here because we don't like this on the right hand side this is a vector it's not a point but once we have a zero in front, then we say, or once we have a point in front, then we say this is a point. Um, and here we're really having that V is really this summation that we kind of just defined. Um, now the thing is this, by our, by our three things, by our axioms, this third axiom, right? That there's going to be a unique way to find this. But this is basically saying every point can be defined in this way. Every point has this. And so this allows us to define a Cartesian coordinate system uh, for everything without a problem. Um, so in other words, once zero is fixed, once we have a zero, um, or I guess O here, not a zero, it's a big O um, for origin, um, and B being our orthonormal basis, then at that point, once we have these two things, this is important, then we can consider p as a column vector. Then, 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 then. So, and consider. And here I'm going to put little quotes around the equality because this is only working in this case, right? Um, so normally we will can we will be using Cartesian coordinates, um, just because we are then allowed to use these matrices. Like this is perfectly fine. Um, another thing you'll notice is the reason why I'm putting quotes, but I'm saying this is okay, is what we're going to do is we're going to say these are par like parentheses. So the other ones, normally when we're talking about matrices, right? So here we have a linear operator, linear operator. Um, actually, I think I want, yeah. Okay. Now I just realized my linear operators are P's as well. So, okay, new thing. Points will have lines under them from now on. We'll have lines under them from now on. Sorry. Uh, so P here, 
So here, what we had is normally we had these square brackets, right? So I'll just put a P here. Yeah, IJ, I guess. PIJ. Right? So we had some square brackets. And this is to kind of help us see that this is really going to be like vectors. And this is points. Points. Parentheses. Parentheses. P and P. Um, vectors and brackets, they don't work. Um, but we can pretend that B and B are the same letter and we're good. Happy. Um, all right. So a couple points before we um, end this video. Uh, so the previous example here um, basically allows us to, it, it gives us exactly the Cartesian coordinates, coordinate system that we're used to like in normal life. So we start off with some point zero 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 whatever, um, and then every kind of point in space is given through this lens of this point, right? So this is kind of what we're used to seeing of like, oh, um, I have some space. This is my zero zero. Notice how here we have parentheses. Oops. Notice how here we have parentheses. Um, we'll be normally doing columns, but here it's a row. Um, so it's the exact same idea. Now, also uh, a little remark. So if you are following along in other books, um, a lot of authors will use R to the N instead of A to the N. Um, and the reason why is because of this whole Cartesian system, right? Like it's natural to think of um, like the plane and all this using precisely these R to the Ns. Now, the problem here is that like, at least for me, when I was learning all this stuff, like it was very easy for me to start getting vectors and points very, like confused. I started like putting the two together and I was like, I don't get what is what, like what is happening. Um, so in some sense, being able to separate them and say, these are the points, these are the vectors, um, and it's different than Rn actually helps. So this is why like we're going to stick to um, this way of doing things um, because it helps us be able to disambiguate, ooh, nice word, disambiguate um, all the things. Um, so we will end here this video um, and I will see you in the next video for a different coordinate system. Um, we'll do polar coordinates um, and I think that might be a shorter video. Um, so yeah, so I will, well, I keep saying that and then it's long. Um, anyway, um, I will see you in the next video. Bye.